that's actually true still to this very day. I got a, I get a phone call like about every other year from a teacher from the high school I went to requesting that I, I put out a public formal apology for that song. She's like, that really wasn't cool to do a Jordan. I was like, it really wasn't cool how he was a dick to me for a whole summer, so. Yeah! <laughs> Burn! <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so what time was it really? Because I do, like, you know, there is like a, there is a thing here. 8.24. Okay. I started at 7.15. All right, I could probably do a few more. Is that okay? Yeah! <laughs> Again, the people who, who don't Jersey. know are like, this is getting really weird. <laughs> There are all these people who know what he's talking about, and there's these inside jokes. I came from Jersey. I apologize. Uh, yes! that. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a song called "Maps for the Getaway." Uh, I, I used to stalk my old house that I lived in. Um, this was like a, this was like a place where like. Kelly and I went through a lot in this one particular house, and we sold it and moved to Southern California, like to a, a different town south of where we lived, south of Los Angeles. And and then I ended up writing this record with this amazing guy. His name's Mike Viola. He sang. If you if you remember this movie, that thing you do, yeah. he was the voice. He sang. You do that thing you do. Oh, that was him. He sang that song. He's a genius. Um, but his house was right down the street from my old house, and so if I got to LA early. I would, I would drive to that house and I'd sit outside with a, like a notebook and I'd kind of like look in the windows and I'd be like, what happened there? You know, like, it was, it was, it was a part of my therapy, but I'm not sure that the, that the people I sold the house to were really as psyched about it as I was. I think they were like, why is that dude who used to live here back outside again looking in our windows? 